New tonight, for the first time, we're hearing the jailhouse phone call that kept a man from getting out of jail sooner. The suspect accused of exploiting senior citizens under his care. I team investigator Adam Walser has the call and why it raised red flags with the judge. Adam? Well, Wendy professional guardian Fernando Gutierrez was charged last month with financially exploiting seniors. He couldn't use the money from his business bank accounts to pay bond because prosecutors thought that money might have come from his victims. The call for help Gutierrez made from jail made the judge suspicious as well. Prosecutors say professional guardian Fernando Gutierrez stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from vulnerable seniors he was supposed to protect. He used that money for various things like paying his kids tuition, paying his mortgage. And because Gutierrez still had joint bank accounts with multiple clients, the judge ordered him not to use any money from business accounts for his $750,000 bond. You have to be able to show that the assets that would be used to bond yourself out are not ill-gotten gain. That same day, <laughs> Gutierrez made a phone call from jail to his family. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. In the recording, Gutierrez tells his daughter how to access his bank accounts from a computer. Okay, we're in. Okay, well then um, you'll see all those accounts. Try to limit your conversations as much as you can. Okay, yeah. Play with that account, okay? Telling her how to move money for his bond into her own account. Maybe you should just, just go to the bank and, and get cash and then deposit it into your account. We take the money we use. So, you know, the one, not the business check, the other one. The other one. The other one. Speak limited words. He also gives instructions to his wife. And just deposit it in, um, in the joint account, your account, okay? Okay. And to a niece who he sent money. I'll tell you how much, you know, to take out. Oh, no, 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 it has to come from you. At his bond hearing, those same family members pledged money towards his bond, but the judge wouldn't accept the funds, sending Gutierrez back to jail for a week until another family member pledged property. When he finally did get out, it was with new conditions. He removes himself from all non-family joint accounts. If you bond out of jail and you don't have the wherewithal to do this, we could put you back in jail. Gutierrez has until August 14th to get his name off of all his clients' accounts. At the time of his arrest, he was a guardian, power of attorney, or health care surrogate for more than 50 people. I'm my team investigator Adam Walser taking action for you.